Medical Aid and the Charity Organization of uh, Medicine Without Borders. Basically, we are doing the administrative part of it and the logistic. We are basically getting the medicine from uh, Medical Medicine Without Borders. They are sending it to Colombo with their expenses from Colombo itself selecting the hospital, negotiating with the medical superintendents and uh, relevant officers and transportation, that's entirely done by uh, Little Aid in Sri Lanka. Little Aid is represented by Dr. Nimal Karyavasam in Colombo. Uh, he's the one coordinating the logistics uh, in the country. And uh, the distribution was done effectively within the next four months. We are also now exploring other hospitals down southeast and all over the places in order to distribute in, uh, in future. And uh, basically we are facilitating the distribution within Sri Lanka and as a group four people from Denmark visited uh, last week to do an audit as to how we are doing it. And we went to Vaunia, checked the books itself themselves, they checked the books and they were happy that the medicine they donated had been taken care of by relevant professionals and that audit process I, I believe it's, uh, they are quite satisfied. Uh, that is a contribution by Little Aid at this end. Okay, so uh, I would like to ask again from Mr. Uh, Mr. Hans, uh, what are the main countries, I mean uh, you all have selected any particular countries to provide this service? Most important, in general, uh, we want, of course, to, to uh, donate medicine to poor people who cannot afford to buy medicine. And that, of course, leads to uh, some countries uh, in uh, Asia, uh, for instance, Afghanistan, and for instance, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, because of the circumstances you know. Mm -hmm. and. Um, um, and, and we hope uh, to find more, to be given more medicine than we have already been given. In uh, 2009, we were given a medicine of a weight of seven tons at a value of four uh, million US dollars. And as I have already explained, most of, of it was given to, uh, to uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, and now in the future, uh, maybe we, we hope to be able to give some medical equipment as well to, uh, to uh, Sri Lanka, but that also depends on the donation we are given by the drug firms. I was telling a little bit uh, about um, uh, our finances. Uh, we, only, we are working, of course, uh, without any money. Um, uh, for ourselves, but we had to pay the air freight from Denmark to Sri Lanka for instance. Yeah. And this air freight is uh, funded by the Danish, um, uh, organization, uh, the Danish uh, Department of uh, Foreign Ministry called Danida. Uh, in, in Denmark you can go and ask for money for humanitarian help and then if the project is good, uh, then you will be funded. Okay. And Danita is paying the air freight uh, from uh, Copenhagen to uh, Colombo. Yeah, actually that's the main point uh, that I want to ask from you all. When you are provi providing this uh, service to, the, uh, to Sri Lanka, basically to Sri Lanka, how about the transportation part? How you all transporting? Uh, how 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 you all providing these uh, medicines to Denmark and to Sri Lanka? For an example, you all have uh, given 2.5 million US dollars worth of all medicines to Sri Lanka for the last four months. So, how about the transportation part? It's all paid by uh, the Danish uh, Danida. And uh, last time we were able, we had a donation uh, of a value of five. Uh, 1.2 million uh, dollars from a, a special uh, drug firm. It consisted of about uh, 50,000 treatments of antibiotica. And because of the good partnership with Little Aid, 
we were able to uh, ship the uh, drug uh, from uh, the drug firm to Colombo within uh, 13 days to be exact. Okay, so there's another question. Why did you all think to select Sri Lanka as a country of this group? Well, um, we are also donating to other countries. Uh, but, um, uh, and we, in principle, we do not have ever any preference, of course, mm. uh, because we are a humanitarian organization. But uh, we are taking advice uh, from the Danish ministry foreign ministry and uh, after we had given a lot of medicine to Afghanistan um, we asked the ministry uh, to tell us where where else in the world there should be a need and they said Sri Lanka because the war is over now and now there should be if I may say peace and everybody should live in peace and therefore it is important if we can contribute what, what we can uh, to uh, everyone in Sri Lanka. Okay, so are, are you all going to select any countries, I mean more than these countries? I, don't, I do not know now. Um, I do not know, know now. That depends on how much medicine we are given. But as I said in the beginning, uh, in Denmark we are destroying for some reasons uh, more than eight 800 tons medicine. So there should be enough medicine to uh, ship to other countries. Okay, so uh, from these uh, trade services, what you're expecting? Yeah, I mean, what you're expecting from these uh, services, you're providing medicines to poor people who's in, uh, living in Sri Lanka and also some countries, what you're expecting? I'm expecting, of course, that the medicine will be used. And the result will be, of course, what kind of medicine you give. For instance, we are giving uh, medicine uh, uh, who, uh, which will re uh, relieve pains. We are giving uh, medicine uh, which you, uh, for other purposes. But we are also giving, we know, of course, uh, medicine which uh, will save lives mm -hmm. because if you don't have antibiotica you can uh, die of a lot of diseases which I don't know the names in, in English but you know the so you can die if you don't have antibiotica. Okay so uh, again I'm going to ask a question from Mr. Tarin. Finally just uh, tell me what are the future plans uh, of the charity organization of Little Aid? I think uh, we are in the, our motivation as to why we are doing this is, is, I believe this is part of the reconciliation of the country, what we can contribute as diaspora to the country we left behind or left, uh, left. So this is part of the reconciliation. We believe we started with the IDPs, now we are gradually uh, going to the other areas which are ec economically bit bit comparatively deprived, which uh, I think is part of the reconciliation process that uh, uh, we believe we should contribute. Okay, so I'm going to ask the same question. I'm going to ask the same question from you also. What are the future plans of the charity organization of uh, the medicine without...